And welcome again to another in the series of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation's Sunday Spirit. I am Clara Brown, Director Secretary. Pressure, a two-edged sword. Pressure is an always present force in our lives, manifesting in various forms such as societal expectations, personal ambitions, or professional demands. The adage, pressure bursts pipes, but it also creates diamonds, encapsulates the dual nature of pressure. This metaphoric phrase highlights how pressure can lead to both destruction and creation. This depends on how it is managed and perceived. Understanding this duality can empower us to harness pressure as a transformative force rather than purely a destructive one. When we visualize or form the imagery of pressure bursting pipes, we formulate in our minds how this scenario vividly conveys the potential for pressure to cause harm or create chaos. When pressure exceeds a certain threshold, it can lead to breakdowns. In humans, it can lead to mental, emotional, or physical. For instance, the relentless pressure of meeting academic or professional standards can result in burnout, a state where our capacity to function is severely impaired. This is akin to pipe bursting under pressure, under excessive force, unable to withstand the constant strain. The, cons the consequences of such breakdowns are significant. Again, burnout can lead to in decreased productivity, mental health issues like anxiety and depression, and even physical health problems such as heart disease. Relationships, too, will not be spared from pressuring situations. They, too, can suffer. When we are unable to cope with the pressures we face, Lead, these lead to conflicts and estrangements. Thus, unchecked pressure has the potential to disrupt our lives and communities, demonstrating its capacity to destroy. But let us not paint a picture of doom and gloom when we think of pressure. Let us for a moment look at the creative potential of pressure. Contrastingly, the same force that can burst pipes is also responsible for creating diamonds. Diamonds formed deep within the earth's mantle and results, which results from carbon subject to intense pressure and heat. This transformation from carbon to diamond is a powerful metaphor for human potential. When we face pressure and navigate it successfully, we can achieve remarkable growth and transformation. There are numerous 
historical and contemporary examples of individuals and even ourselves who have thrived under pressure. Consider Thomas Edison, who faced numerous failures before inventing the electric light bulb, or modern day athletes who achieve greatness through rigorous training and competition. The Usain Bolts of this land, the Shelley and Fraser Prices, the Sharika Jacksons, yes, they can speak to pressure. Pressure from the public, pressure from the coaches, and look at their achievements. Take a moment and look at the remarkable achievements of these athletes. In these cases, I am sure pressure acts as a catalyst for creativity, innovation, and excellence. It pushes us out of our comfort zones, compelling us to develop resilience, problem-solving skills, and tenacity. The process of diamond formation with its uniqueness and high value underscores the importance of enduring pressure over time. It is not the immediate application of force, but the sustained pressure that leads to the creation of something valuable. This highlights the necessity of perseverance and the ability to withstand challenges over the long term by viewing pressure as an opportunity for growth rather than an insurmountable obstacle. Let it be known that it is highly likely that at the end of a rigorous and demanding experience, we can unlock our potential and achieve extraordinary outcomes. The key to leveraging the positive aspects of pressure while mitigating its destructive potential lies in effective pressure management. Yes, there is that, pressure management. This involves both personal strategies and systemic approaches to a, on a personal level. Developing resilience through practices such as mindfulness, physical exercise, and seeking support from social networks which can help us to cope with pressure. No man is an island, no man stands alone. And in doing so, learn to set realistic goals, prioritizing your tasks and take breaks when needed are additional practical steps to prevent burnout. On a systemic level, be on alert and on the lookout for institutions or organizations, even those to which you are employed, by these organizations which recognize that they too can play a role in a, a significant role by fostering environments that recognize the importance of mental health and well-being of their employees. Through the implementation of policies that promote work-life balance, and we can't emphasize enough the importance and effect of that. Providing resources for stress management and encouraging open communication. These strategies can create a supportive atmosphere where employees feel empowered rather than overwhelmed. Furthermore, education systems can also incorporate lessons on stress management and emotional intelligence, hence equipping individuals from a young age with the tools needed to navigate pressure effectively. By shifting the focus from merely surviving under pressure to thriving despite it, societies can cultivate a generation of individuals 
who view challenges as opportunities for growth and innovation. The phrase pressure bursts pipes, but it also creates diamonds, encapsulates the complex nature of pressure as both a destructive and creative force. Recognizing this duality enables us and systems to approach pressure with a balanced perspective by adopting effective strategies to manage and harness pressure. It is possible. It is possible to minimize its harmful effects while maximizing its potential to inspire growth resilience, and excellence. Ultimately, the way we respond to pressure determines whether it will shatter us or shape us. Shaping us into something extraordinary. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And on behalf of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation, I would like to take just this moment to wish all the fathers, all the father figures, a happy and wonderful Father's Day. Namaste.